What is up, guys? It's DJ Chucky Twenty One here, back with another Black Ops Three commentary video. Haven't came out with a commentary video in a while for Black Ops Three, so decided to have one today. Just talking about my class, as you guys can tell by the title. So I'm gonna be going through the class, through my specialist, and through my score streak. So let's get started now. I've gone through this. We're trying to record it like so many times, but either something happens with the recording or the videos are just too long. So this one, I'm hoping I can get it done here. So trying to get it done quick, so it's not too long of a video. Just get straight to the point, so let's get started. For the classes, as you guys see here, my custom one, I have the VMP, which is my favorite gun in the game, hands down. And that one, as you guys can tell, has a diamond camo on it. Pretty hyped about that. I did get diamond a while back, but I still really like the camo. And I've been using that ever since. So on the VMP, I use ELO sight, because it's like a red dot sight, so it really helps you aim down at the enemies and... It's a little thinner than the red dot sight and doesn't have the top part on it, so it's a really good sight to use for me. So, onto the attachments, I have grip because it kind of reduces the recoil on it since it does move around a little bit when you're shooting. And then I have FMJ also because it's not the strongest gun in the game, so I do like adding a little bit of a boost to that. So, I use the FMJ to kind of give it a little bit of an extra kick when it's uh, firing at the enemies. So, onto the secondary now, I have the XM53 don't really use launchers I usually hate launchers but most of the time I do have my crowbar in here the iron gym which I did get from a supply drop if you guys saw that from a couple supply drops ago or probably the last one you guys can tell by the title or the thumbnail so here you guys see the gold iron gym pretty hyped about that it took a long time to get this since I did have to get bloodthirsty but finally I got it and I've had that for a while too so I do have the XM53 in here because I am trying to get diamond secondary so I can get that diamond crowbar or the Iron Gym, whatever you want to call it. So, But I don't think I'm going to be getting that because if I do want Diamond Secondaries, I'm going to have to go through the pistols. And the RK5 is not too bad. L car is the same. But the MR6 is just going to be a pain to go through. And I only have one headshot in all the times I've used it. So really don't want to go through that. But I um, think I'm just going to stick with the gold on the Iron Gym because it still looks pretty nice. So I think I'm just going to stick to that. But for now, I do use the XM53 because I can shoot down enemy UAVs, counter UAVs, stuff like that. And I do have a whole lot of camos for it, but stuff like this, like 10 direct hits or destroy 5 talents or Cerberus and 10 turrets, just seems kind of hard to do, so I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So I might change that out. Onto the lethals now, I have a grenade, the frag grenade. And I really like this one because it does move around, so it does roll around, like if there's other people coming, so it doesn't stick like the Semtex, so. In case I do need to roll a little bit more than what I threw it, uh, it does roll around, so could get people a little bit farther out than where I threw it. So I do like using that because I've gotten pretty good at cooking it and kind of timing it when it'll explode so that I could get kills nearly every time. And it does help when I know where people are. If they're hiding behind something, I just throw it over and get the kill like that. But if I can't get the kill, I do use tacticals, which I have the concussion on. Because it, is, it does slow down the enemies and it gives me a little bit of a jump on them when if I need to reload or just need to try to get a better angle of them. So I do have that. And then onto the perks. I have Afterburner here, my first one. That is the first uh, perk you do have, like the default one. But I do like using this one because it does kind of recharge your thrusters even faster than it already does. So you do get an extra bit of thrust in there when you need to recharge it real quick so I do like jumping around especially with the VMP because it does it, the VMP is a lightweight gun so I can jump around a whole lot try to get a better, better angle on the enemies or just kinda of move around a bit more if they're shooting or aiming down at me and then that also goes with perk 3 the blast suppressor because the blast suppressor does kinda of suppress your thruster sounds so I really like using that one because I can't really tell where I am as you guys can probably see on the mini maps you can see when someone is jumping so you kinda of know where they are and when they're going to be coming at you. And my second perk is anti up because it does give you a starting bonus to your score streak meter. It used to only be a hundred uh, starting bonus, but now it's 150, so helps a little bit more towards the score streak. So like a UAV, UAV is 500 scored for that. So with the 150, you only need like three kills and an assist to get. So it does make it easier. So I really like using that one. So now let's move on to the second class. With the second class here, I have the Locust, as you guys can see, it is a gold Locust. I did recently get that gold, like last weekend or something, so I don't really use this one anymore since I did already get a gold. 
but I do have ballistic CPU on it and an FMJ so it does give a less of uh, kind of sway when you're using it and it does give a bigger hit and makes more of an impact with the FMJ have the RK5 on that so in case I have to switch out and kind of get a kill from someone that's just running up at me I can use that and then trip mines in case I'm up in the top of a building or something trying to shoot across the way I have that behind me so that if someone tries to come up behind me or from a doorway they end up getting killed with that and then tacticals I have the concussions again two on this one because I do need more of a kind of a jump on the enemies when I do have to switch to the RK5 so I have two there and then for my perks pretty much the same as the last class so we're not gonna go through that on to custom 3 now it's again the locust but this one with the thermal sight and no ballistic CPU since you can't have that with the sight so I have the thermal for on maps like infection where it is kinda of foggy and I have to shoot across the way it does get kinda of hard to see people through that so I do use that everything else is the same except for the grenade I'm not sure why I have that I probably should have the trip mine so I'll add that in but that's my class right there pretty much don't really use that one too often unless it's like on infection So here you guys see, I'm using the War Machine right now. Don't really like using this one. Most of the time I am using Tempest because I can't shoot down UAVs, counter UAVs, pretty much the same thing as the XM-53. But since I have the launcher in the class, I don't really need this anymore. And I am trying to get Hero Gear for all the specialists. So right now I just need seven, no, 13 more kills with the War Machine. And only, well, all 20 kills with the Kinetic Armor. So that's going to be kind of easy to use. But... I do have like five left of these specialists out of the nine, so really trying to get those done. Hopefully I'll get those done soon so I can have the hero gear. And now let's move on to the score streaks. For the score streaks, UAV, counter UAV, always have those on no matter what. So UAV I like to use so I can see where all the enemies are. And counter UAV kind of disables their map so they don't know where we are. And then ACXD, never really have that on. haven't even used it at all, so... I'm going to explain a little bit of why I have that. So I usually have the Cerberus or the Talon in because I really like those two. The Cerberus just trying to, like, kind of gets around, can go indoors, and then the Talon just flies around with me. Don't really like that one, but it does kind of help me out when I die. I can't get the enemy or if sometimes it'll go into a room where, like, right before I enter, there is an enemy in there. So it goes in there, kind of takes down the enemy before I get in there. And the Rolling Thunder, I was using that for a bit, but on some of the newer maps like Rift, it doesn't really do much since it is more of an indoors map and the Rolling Thunder doesn't really lock on either so it's kinda just a hit or miss on when you get kills or not so the ACXD I am using because I am trying to get the calling card for that and the XP for getting a certain amount of kills with that so I'm gonna be using that for a while until I get that and it's really easy to get it's only four kills or with the anti up it's only like two kills and an assist so that's gonna be really easy to use probably get that like every life or twice a life possibly with the counter UAV being the highest score streak I have, so that's what I'll be using. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I already went through all the stuff I use, so let me know in the comments below what you guys like to use, what's your class setup, or what's your favorite gun in the game. And not too sure what else to say here, so I'm just going to end the video. So I'll go back through the class right now so you guys can take another look at it before I end the video. So pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And... Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Maybe you guys can change up your classes, try out different guns. Or maybe I can see what you guys like to use. And maybe I'll switch up my class and try out some of the guns you guys like. So again, let me know in the comments below what you guys like to use and what's your favorite gun in the game. So again, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.